G'day interwebs, I'm B-Man and this is Pokemon Shield. Remember to hit subscribe if you're on YouTube and do whatever other social things are on whatever other site that you might be watching this on. There is a playlist on my channel down in the description and in the cards if you want to catch up on the previous parts of the playthrough. So I've never uh, played the full opening sequence, I'm going to play it once today in this video. Because I was just in a stadium in the game. Oh, I nearly pressed A. Might have been this stadium I was in, I'm not, not sure. I was in the Moto Stoke Stadium. So I'm in Moto Stoke and I've just been given the Pokemon um, the gym leader challenge. So I have to beat all the gym leaders, which is a familiar format for the Pokemon games. One of the gym leaders was conspicuously missing, but I got, got to see all the other gym leaders. Or well, all the ones that are in the Pokemon Shield version. Guess that's it. Alrighty. Just for a second there, the game looked a bit fuzzy, and then it fixed itself. Okay, so... Are oh, there TRs? So I've only got one dazzling gleam. So the TRs are like the TMs of old, you can use them once and then they break. Ten Pokeballs and a Premier Bowl. I don't like selling the nuggets, I consider them a transferable form of currency where you can like send from one game to another a nugget. Like you can't do that with money. Time to unwind from my day of work. Now do I want to watch the gym leader battles or do a good football match? Or a f good football match? Pokemon are good at some things while people are good at others. Split up the tasks and get things done in a jiffy. I had a lot of fun working at my part time job today. A day of hard work and solid pay well earned. Go capitalism. Okay. 
What level is my Growlithe? Greetings, trainer. What can I help you with? I'm going to check my poker jobs. There are new job postings. I've got some plants that only grow on rocky terrain. I'd like some rough rock type Pokemon to keep my precious plants company. It would be marvellous if we could decorate our merchandise shelves with lots of plants. Could we have grass type Pokemon come help? We want to take particular care in what water we use to brew my coffee. I'd like Pokemon that are knowledgeable about such things. Okay, three. That's a Dynamax Grothel, uh, Chuthel. Pokemon will be sent to the job site, is that okay? Choose how long you want your Pokemon to help out the whole day. See you later guys. Go and get me some... I don't know what happens. Six hours left on yesterday's job. Do I have grass Pokemon? Just low tad. Lombre. I should say. Okay, Max is a Dynamax. Be. I usually use box 3 for my special Pokemon. Who else is Dynamax? Togepi's Dynamax. I feel like I had another one who was Dynamax. I might have sent it on a mission. Weeper because it's level 17. Yep. Actually, I might like. Box 4, my Dynamax Pokemon, and Box 3, just ones that... I've used and trained. I just realised how boring this must be for anyone watching, but it needs to be done before I set out my journey. So what's happened is the Pokemon I've sent on jobs, their spaces are empty now. Is there an automatic sorter? No. Use a growl in my party. Attack over speed. No, I can't use a negative speed Pokemon. I'm 
reconsidering because I know there are candies in the game that change your nature. Change the nature of a Pokemon. I think this is also Dynamax. Yes. It'll stop obeying me when it levels up, so I can't really use it yet. I'm gonna go with the Pokemon I have before rejiggering my party. Growlithe is the only one I'm not sure of. I've got a funny idea that that grass Pokemon trainer is going to be the first one. I've got picks a lot, but I mean, at least it's got a bonus to attack. Emberly Howbite. I'd be replacing a Galarian Pokemon with a regular old Kanto Pokemon. Probably my Wooloo. Do I have a grass type? No, hang on. Okay, I've got two electrics and a bug, a dark, a flying, a water, and a normal. Bit esoteric, a bit eclectic is the word I was looking for. Oh, you can't see. I've got a Pikachu and a Wulu in the top two slots. I'm going to go with these guys. Sorry, Growlithe. How can I not use a Wulu? Okay, so I've got to go through Route 3 to Turf Field. Ooh, that's passing between the headphones. It's pretty cool. I know old folks like us can get carried away offering advice, but the most important thing for young ones like you is to live the way you want. So, are all the people... Oh, it's reverted to normal. Yesterday there were all these people here telling me, cheering me on. They're saved in the Pokemon Center and now they're gone. So, like the game's recommending that I get a Ghastly from the Wildlands, which is back the other way. But yeah, all those people were cheering me on, so I feel like I should just carry on through the story. If your precious Pokemon get injured, don't forget to heal them up with a potion. And you need antidotes to fix up poison. Just remember to stock up on items and you won't have to visit Pokemon centers so often. If it'll cost me an arm and a leg. found a big mushroom. A very large and rare mushroom. It's popular with a certain class of collectors. Okay, so the game's more or less telling me to collect mushrooms. What is that? You encountered a wild gossiflor. Alright, I saw this in the... this dude in the promotions leading up to the game. Meryl used Tackle. Got 
discuss for you sweet scent. Meryl's evasiveness harshly fell. Tackle attack Meryl. Meryl's speed fell from Gossifleur's cotton down. Gossifleur used sweet scent. Meryl's evasiveness harshly fell. Pokeball, go! Or rather, because of Gossifleur. Gossifleur's da data will be added to the Pokedex. The flowering Pokemon. It whirls around in the wind, singing a joyous song. This delightful display has charmed many, many into raising this Pokemon. I'm going to name it. Without knowing anything about Willows, so I'm going to name it Willow. I'm going to check its summary. Straight grass type. Seems to have um, neutral nature. Physical attack. Sing. Rapid spin. Sweet scent. somewhat vain. <laughs> so I don't have a grass type. So you're gonna get turfed out, um, Wulu. Oh no! Whoops! It's alright, I've got this link. Okay, two electrics, but apart from that... Should I be using that Growlithe? No, I don't want too many Kanto Pokemon. I'm ready to get a Pikachu. I could use Growlithe instead of the Pikachu. Bugsy have electric attacks? No. Oh, it's not electric, it's bug and psychic. So, no issue. And a cool combination as well. So I'm just not running with a fire. I could put it in instead of swipe, but then I'd be missing a <clears throat> Galarian Pokemon for a Kanto Pokemon. So 
Skunky. Why can't I use it? Stunky used acid spray, it's probably not good. Super effective. Willow's special defense harshly felt. Willow's stunky speed felt. Willow used sing. Stunky fell asleep. Bug Bug is good against Dark Tart, right? Willow, come back. Go Bugsy. Stunky is fast asleep. Bugsy, you struggle bug. Stunky special attack fell. Stunky woke up and used fury swipes. Why, why didn't anything happen? Bugsy used struggle bug. Stunky special attack fell. Stunky used smoke screen. Bugsy's accuracy for I just realized I should be catching this. I was about to faint it. I don't have one. Pokeball, go! Three, two, one. Or rather, could a stunky. Could a stunky up in this place. Swipe level to 15. Stunky's data will be added to the Pokedex. If it lifts its tail... Oh, the skunk Pokemon. If it lifts its tail and points its rear at you, beware. It's about to spray you with a fluid stinky enough to make you faint. Rubbish. Is that a regular Zigzagoon? You encountered a wild Trubbish. Should have really moved Willow out of the first place. I don't even know what type Trubbish is. Go Sid. I suspect it's poison. Travis used acid spray. Sid's special defense harshly felt. Sid used Electro Ball. No, yeah. Try not to kill it though. Travis used, Travis used Clear Smog. Sid's stat changes were removed. Go Slick. Travis used Recycle, but it 
out. Pokeball go. Three, two, one. All right, they caught Trubbish. Trubbish's daily will be added to the Pokedex, the Trash Bag Pokemon. This Pokemon was born from a bag stuffed with trash. Galarian Weezing relished the fumes belched by Trubbish. This Pokemon was born from a bag stuffed with trash. It's a literal trash bag. I didn't know that. That's a girl, I don't have anything for a girl. Cancel. Mm, that's a regular zigzag. My Pokemon. Thanks for waiting. Gossa Fleur and the rest of your team should be all better now. We hope to see you again. Yeah, that's a regular Galarian zigzagoon. They're fast. I've been playing the earlier gen games and it only has a power of 20 in those games. I'm not sure when they changed it. Rapid spin, I mean. So it's actually quite powerful. You saw the opening ceremony, right? Then you know why I'm excited and want to battle. You were challenged by Las Ray? Rai? Las Rai? Las Rai sent out Vulcans. Go Willow. Uh oh. Willow back. Go slick. Vulpix used Ember. Slick used Water Pulse. Super effective. The opposing Vulpix fainted. Okay, Slick and Willow both leveled up.
Willow wants to learn Razor Leaf. Razor Leaf hits multiple opponents. It does a bit more damage. Shall I drop Sweet Sand or Leafage? I never use moves like Sweet Sand, but it says it harshly lowers it, so... Two and ta-da! Willow forgot Sweet Scent and it learned Razor Leaf. I lost, but I'm still excited. 1,008 poker dollars for winning. I'm going to participate in the gym challenge next year. I just realized I don't know what shiny Pokemon look like. I don't know that they sparkle, I just assume that they do. I can get my Pokedex evaluated. Looking for Stunky. <laughs> Three heal balls. A remedial Pokeball that restores the hit points of a Pokemon caught with it and eliminates any status conditions. It's sort of hard to want to bathe on it. Hi in chat, um, Astral XV, I don't have a ponytail. Okay, what just happened to me? Will I use Razor Leaf? He's going first. Six good use sand attack. Blows accuracy felt. Willow used razor leaf. Six are going avoided the attack. Hexalot. 
Excellent special attack for the six against giving me the business. Hexlot is swift. Oh, that did nothing. Did very little. Hexlot's accuracy fell. Hexlot is peck. Can you snarl? If I find a pony tower, I'll trade you one, but yeah, I haven't seen any yet. Hexalot use Peck. Six screen avoided the attack and use snarl. Swipe. Zig's going to use headbutt. Okay, swipe, use quick attack. Zig's going fainted. Okay, Sid, Bugsy, and Peck slot leveled up. Peck slot wants to learn pluck. So Pexlot doesn't know Peck anymore. One, two, and ta-da, Pexlot forgot Peck and it learned Pluck instead. Right, I need to heal. back. Oh, Pixelot's half. Go Bugsy. Gossiflu, you sing. Bugsy fell asleep. Bugsy is fast asleep. Got some flu, you sweet scent. Bugsy's evasive, Mesh harshly felt. Bugsy is fast asleep. I have awakening, so I just can't be bothered using them. Bugsy, you Come on, wake up, buddy. Nope. That's for you sing. Bugsy's already asleep. Bugsy, wake up. Bugsy, you struggle bug. Super effective. Critical hit. Gusta flow fainted.
I'm not comfortable with the way that Zigzagoon nearly kicked my butt. Another growl. Willow grew to level thirteen. <laughs> Docile. a lot. Pixelot is pluck. Super effective, Pancham fainted. Yeah, Willow and Pexalot gain more than the others. So participating Pokemon definitely gain more. Ah, uh, March up. Willow is Sing. Match up this focus energy. And it's getting pumped. Will I use Sing? Match up avoided the attack. Match up is low kick. The wild match up speed fell. Will I use Sing? Match up avoided it. Below you sing, march up avoided it, march up is revenge. Below is cotton down low, march up speed. Below you sing, march up avoided it, march up is revenge. Critical hit. Below is cotton down low at speed. Willow use Sing. March up avoided it. And use Leah.
Willow used Sing. Machop avoided it. Used Focus Energy and failed. Willow used Sing. Finally. Machop fell asleep. Pokeball go. Or are they called a match up? I wish I would let you check their stats before you name them. Matchup style will be added to the Pokedex. The superpower Pokemon. Always brimming with power, it passes time by lifting boulders. Doing so makes it even stronger. I like to give Matchup a nickname. Yep. Chad. Chad the Matchup. See Chad's summary. I suppose he's adamant. No. Sassy. Sassy Chad. Sent to a box. Chasing me. Hey. I've been studying foreign languages, computers, and Pokemon. You were challenged by schoolgirl Hannah. She sends out Pan Chan. Low back go Pexalon. The opposing team is too nervous to eat berries. Pancham is tackle. Ow. Pexalot is pluck. Super effective. Pancham use circle throw. Not very effective. Not good. Swipe use quick attack. Pancham use circle throw. This is gonna hurt. Oh. Super effective critical hit. Swipe fainted. The schoolgirl is beating me up. Go. Hexalot. 
Just a little more hang in there, Pex a lot. The opposing team is too nervous to eat berries. Pexalot is pluck. Super effective. Pancham fainted. Is it worth getting? Um, Nufthustro. <laughs> um, yeah, if you like Pokemon. Definitely, if you like Pokemon. What? I lost. My Pokemon Savvy wasn't enough. 936 Poke Dollars for winning. I should find even more about Pokemon to like. That way I'll learn more about them. Like how if you lower their hit points they get easier to catch. The last one you played was Ruby on Game Boy. Yeah, I've played every one. I didn't play Heart Gold, Soul Silver when they came out, but I played them um last year. That was, they, they, they were the only ones that I, I didn't play, at least one of the versions of. Um, I know a lot of stuff would have changed since then. The game's become a lot easier. Um, Let's Go was ridiculously easy. This seems to be a little bit harder. I played Sapphire earlier this year. I had to buy an eBay cartridge with the with a new battery soldered into it. Yeah, Let's Go was a bit, like I got through the story and then that was it, and it was very easy and the dialogue seemed dumbed down, like I'm sure I went through like levels of Team Rocket Lair and everyone on the floor said the exact same thing to me after being defeated, it was like they completely phoned in the dialogue. I'm sure there was, there was, there was one floor of one dungeon and everyone just said the exact same thing to me upon, upon getting defeated. So I don't know what I've got that would... These zigzagoons are giving me trouble. Try swipe. Now I'm paralyzed. Swipe, use swift. Sigs are going to use snarl. Not very effective, but now my special attack has failed. Snipe, use swipe, use swift. Zigzagoon, Zigzagoon use sand attack. Swipe attack, accuracy fell. Um. Zigzagoon use headbutt. Swipe's paralyzed. Go Bugsy. Should have been using him from the start. Actually, because he's part bug, he's going to be. Uh, he's going to take normal damage from attacks. This bug moves will be super effective. 
Zig's are going to use headbutt. Bugsy used struggle bug. That's better. Super effective. Wild Zig's going to faint. Keep having to heal. I was trying to um, see if there are any hidden items there. Go swipe. Chunky smoke screen. Swipe's accuracy fell. Okay, Swift always hits. So I don't care what it does to my accuracy. Stunky used acid spray. Critical hit. Swipe's special defense harshly fell. Swipe used Swift. Okay, so Willow and Swipe both leveled up. Swipe wants to learn the move Assurance. Should not move be forgotten and replaced with Assurance. Um, I have Swift on a TM, pretty sure. Swipe got Swift and learned assurance. Yeah, I've got Swift as a team. Okay, we're doing this the hard way. <laughs> I had a filing move. Go Bugsy.
Sigza can use sand attack. Bugsy's accuracy fell. Six are going to use headbutt. Critical hit. Bugsy used struggle bug. One hit. Super effective. Six are going fainted. Going to grab a drink.
realized I've had the face cam on the wrong half of the screen for half of the playthrough. Trainer tips. You can set up camp on routes and your Pokemon can earn experience points from camping. Try visiting other people's camps too when you find tents along your way. Found a burn heal. First time I've done this camping thing. In your Pokemon camp, you and your Pokemon can play together and even eat together, growing closer through the experience. If your Pokemon grow very close to you, they may even try extra hard for you during battle. You can play using your Joy-Con too. If you slide your Joy-Con off your system, you can wave one about to throw a ball for your Pokemon to retrieve, or wave a Poke toy for their delight. If you waggle that pokey toy, you might even entice Pokemon hanging out farther back in your camp to come play. When you set up camp in the wild area, you'll be able to play with up to three other trainers at a time. All kinds of people and Pokemon might stumble upon your camp, even those you've never met before, so get to know them as you play together. Slick seems to be worried about its surroundings. Let's chat. Slick looks like it wants to play more. Go fight. It's not me hitting them, is it? No, it's them hitting me. Change toys. Throw. I might be wrong, but it seems the longer I hold the button down, the further it throws.
합니다. 시드 looks like it's enjoying camping. 시드 looks like it wants to play more. That's a bit linear. Someone get the ball. Cook up a fine curry while you're out camping by selecting ingredients and berries of your liking. Your curries will get more delicious if you choose to do things like adding rare ingredients or adding lots of berries too. Once you start cooking, fan the flames with your fan to keep things hot enough and stir things up with your ladle to keep them moving. Only don't go overboard. You don't want to spill. The last step will be to add a bit of soul in... Oh! Can I go back? Yep. The last thing will be to add a bit of soul into it at just the right timing, and you'll have made a masterpiece for your Pokemon to enjoy. After you finish cooking, it'll be time for everyone to dig in together. I think a tasty curry can have a number of effects on the Pokemon that are at your camp, including restoring their hit points, and making them feel more friendly towards you. Okay, so what I'm doing is I've got the grip, but I've just slid out one controller, one Joy-Con. What would you like to do? Start cooking. Check ingredients. I don't have anything except for berries. Start cooking. Please select a berry. Aran. One. Okay, cherry. Pika Aran Cherry I can't seem to figure out what to do now I think I need other ingredients as well Because there's an arrow at the top that seems to indicate I should be able to select more things, and I just can't. So I need more ingredients off of that guy in the wild area. I can also shake it just by pressing A.
Yeah. Okay, well I guess that's camping. Your Pokemon enjoyed camping and gained some experience points. Slick grew the level 18. Okay, we have a TM up there. Tyro, I want to see what that's about. Level 14. You should have evolved already, shouldn't you? Oh no, 20. Go Pex a lot. Slot use Swift. Tyrog used Helping Hand but failed. Peck Slot use Swift. Peck Slot use Swift again. Tyrog used Focus Energy but it failed. Pokeball Go. Alright, they got a level 14 Tyroke. Peck slot grew to level 17. Ninety watts. Another trubbish. Oh, instead of a Pokemon, I found a trainer. I'll have to check how strong you are. You were challenged by schoolboy Marvin. Schoolboy Marvin sent out Bud Jude. Okay, Willow back. Go Hexalot. No, go. What's he got? Bud Jude. Go Bugsy. Bud you use absorb but it's not very effective. Bugs you use struggle bug. Oh Bud you use absorb first. Bugs you use struggle bug. Bud you use special attack fell. Bud you used absorb. Bugsy had its energy drained. Bugsy used Struggle Bug. Budgie used Absorb. Not very effective. 
Bugsy had its energy drain. Bugsy used struggle bug. But you fainted. Bugsy grew to level 16. Marvin is about to send out Gossiflor. Go Willow. Marvin sent out Gossiflor. Gossiflor use sorry, Willow use rapid spin. Willow speed rose. Gossiflor use rapid spin. Gossiflor speed rose. Willow's cotton down. Lowered at speed. Willow use rapid spin. Willow speed rose. Gossiflor use rapid spin. Gossiflor speed rose. Willow's cotton down lowered at speed. Willow use rapid spin. Willow speed rose. Gossiflor use leafage. It's not very effective. Willow's cotton down lowered. Gossiflor speed. Willow use rapid spin. Gossiflor fainted. Ouch, your Pokemon are way too strong, says schoolboy Marvin, was it? 720 Poke Dollars for winning. Losing's really painful, so I'll raise my partner Pokemon too. It's Sonya. Hey, a gym challenger. You looked real ace out there during the opening ceremony. Oh, but where's Hop? He went on ahead. He can't sit still at all, can he? Guess he really wants to catch up to his brother. Oh, I know. Let me tell you something a bit interesting. You see that building over there? It's a company owned by Chairman Rose. Just past Route 3 there's a mine where they dig up ore. That building over there processes it into energy. In other words, the Chairman is responsible for providing the Galar region with its energy too. Can't say I really get him, but the Chairman seems like a pretty brewing guy, right? Here, a little something for have a chin, having a chin wag with me. It's an escape rope. A long and durable rope. Use it to escape instantly from locations like caves or dungeons. It can be used any number of times. I'll heal up your Pokemon too. Oh, that's appreciated. The way the turf field is pretty long, but that's a kind of challenge in its own right. Good luck, Jim Challenger. Found a revive. What is that? A wild roly coly. Go Willow. 
<clears throat> Will I use leafage? Oh, it's got a wheel. Willow's cutting down. Lowered its speed. Will I use leafage? Don't kill it though. That's good. Super effective. Pokeball go. Gotcha, Rolly Coley was caught. Willow grew to level 15. Rolly Coley's data will be added to the Pokedex. It can race around like a unicycle even on rough rocky ter terrain. Burning coal sustains it. Would you like to give Roly Coley a nickname? Um, Mita. I can't enter that name. How do I delete? I'm worried I just put in something that is culturally offensive that I didn't realize. Sorry if I did. It wasn't intentional. I'm just not going to name it. I suppose it's got a high. Tackle, smoke screen, rapid spin, smack down. Quirky. Ability Steam Engine boosts the Pokemon's speed stat drastically if hit by a fire or water type move. Uh, so if it's even, then that should be a pretty good cross. Oh no, it's just it's just flat out showing me what its stats are. It's not its EVs or its IVs or anything. It's just that its attack is 16 and its speed is 12. Is there anyone I can turf out with this weird rock Pokemon? Do I really need to roll with a Pikachu that badly? Now, yes, I do. Type is it? I assume it's a rock type. Yeah, it's just straight up rock.
Okay, let's get... Sneak up on her. Hey. Were you thinking of passing through without even looking at my Pokemon? You were challenged by schoolgirl Kaylee. Schoolgirl Kaylee sent out Curloin. I assume that's a dark type. Go Bugsy. No, I'm gonna send out Sid. Mouse versus cat. Perlon, use Scratch. Sid, use Electro Ball. Nice. Perlon, use Growl. Sid's attack felt. Sid used quick attack. Perlone fainted. Sid leveled up to 16. Sid wants to learn the move faint. Should an old move be forgotten and replaced? I'm good. Sid did not learn faint. Schoolgirl Kaylee is about to send out Squabbit. We switch. Go Willow. I should have sent out Rolly Cole and got the experience. Willow, use Rapid Spin. Squabbit, use Tackle. The opposing Squabbit speed fell. Willow, use Rapid Spin. Willow, speed rose. Willow, use Rapid Spin. Willow speed rose. Squabbit used tackle. Squabbit speed fell. Willow used razor leaf. I should have been using that all along. Squabbit used tail whip. Willow's defense fell. Willow used Razor Leaf. Squabbit fainted. You defeated Schoolgirl Ka School Kaylee. Win or lose, I don't mind. I just wanted to show off my Pokemon. 936 Poké Dollars for winning. If we're talking who's poured more love into their Pokémon, I'm clearly the winner, she says. It's a berry tree, do you want to shake it? Yes. A raw berry, a person berry, and an orange be berry fell from the tree. Keep shaking. Six berries. Eight berries. 
Ah, you, you encountered a wild cher cheruby. Cheruby. Cherub. Cheruby. What level is it? Ten. I need false swipe. Go below. Cherubai use tackle. Cherubai speed felt. Willow use rapid spin. Willow speed rose. Cherubai use tackle. Willow's cotton down lowered Cherubai's speed. Look at that other cherry in the back. It's just along for the ride. Willow use rapids. Willow use sing. The wild Cherubai fell asleep. Pokeball, go! One, two, three. Alright, I got a Cherubai. Roly Coley leveled up to level 12. Cherubai's daily will be added to the Pokedex. The Cherry Pokemon. The deeper a Cherubai is red, the more nutrients it has stockpiled in its body, and the sweeter and tastier its small ball. No nickname. Sent to a box. Cherubai has a miracle seed. Is that like exceptionally lucky or place the item in my bag? Is that lucky or are Cherubai's just all carrying miracle seeds? Other Pokemon nearby took all the Peacher berries away. He picked up the berries that fell from the tree. Three Rost, one Persim, three Orin. He found TM37 beat up. The user gets all party Pokemon to attack the target. The more party Pokemon, the greater number of attacks. Oh, I thought that was a ledge. Weird how common Tyrogue are in Gala. I'm just making a coffee. To prove my commitment to come straight back after making a coffee, I'm not even going to pause my game. I'm going to save though. Back in a second.
Okay, I, this guy would let me name my Roly Coley if I wanted to think of a name for it, but I can't think of a name for it. Yes, I can. Which Pokemon's nickname should I rate for you? Holy Coley, is it? That is quite a fine nickname. But I think we could give it something even better. What do you think? Yes. I see. What would you like the new nickname to be? Ryder. The Roly Coley. 
done. From now on, this Pokemon shall be known as Ryder. You're right, that does seem to fit it better. Nicely done. Should I write another Pokemon's name? Sure. No, I think I sent away the ones with clone names that I had. I've got two Hoggers. I'm just going to rename one of them. But he's off on a job. Well, come back anytime. I'm going to check the jobs in case I can catch Pokemon just to do the jobs. Grass. Rock type Pokemon. So I should be catching Roly Colies just to do this mission. Job. Not mission. Kinda cool. a Corviknight or a smaller version of Cor... I think it's the middle evolution. Rookie D, then that thing, then Corviknight, I would say. Right, let's catch three of these guys for a job. Smack down on it. Her. Whoa. They fling pieces of themselves at each other. Pokeball, go!
One more. Okay, now I've got to send these roly collies off on a job. What's that? What are the things that are too small for me to see? Mug break. Go Willow. <laughs> While my Bray is dying defense, its defense rose sharply. My Bray is double kick. Willow's cotton down lowered its speed. Twice. Willow used Razor Leaf. Super effective. Willow used Razor Leaf. Super effective. Mud Bray used Rock Smash. Well, it's cutting down low at its speed. Well, I used Razor Leaf. My breath fainted.
keep forgetting that's not a ledge. So if training them to a box heals them, then can't I just heal my Pokemon by training them to a box and then putting them back in my party? It says here I've got full hit points. Okay, so I'm sending these roly coly off on this job to keep some grass type Pokemon happy. Your Pokemon went to work, they'll do their best. Oh, I could be catching Gossifleurs for um, the other mission as well, the other job. I guess I should catch three Gossifleurs. Bugsy.
Yay, Ryder leveled up.
Okay, that's my three Gossip Lords. Willow and Bugsy both leveled up. Okay, so they seem to get less experience the higher level they are as well. And if they're involved in the battle, they seem to get double. Bout. Willow wants to learn the move round. Should an old move be forgotten and replaced with round? Fifty a hundred, sixty a hundred. Slot grew to level 18. So right is a bit of an outlier now just down there. Oh! What? Pexelot is evolving. Sweet. Congratulations, your Pexelot evolved into Corvus Squire. Corvus Squire's day that will be added to the Pokedex. The Raven Pokemon. The, lesson, the lessons of many harsh battles have taught it how to accurately judge an opponent's strength. I think this Marchop should be named... 
Chad. Let's see, Chad's summary. He's a modest matchup. <laughs> Poor Chad. I should want to trade him. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds then. Thanks for waiting. Rolu Coley and the rest of your team should be all better now. We hope to see you again. Add a bit of colour and fragrance. Three grass type Pokemon for some reason that I've forgotten. Your Pokemon will be sent to the job site, is that okay? Yes. For the whole day. So cute. I wonder why it's like Pokemon Quest though. Your Pokemon went to work, they'll do their best. Three hours left. See you later. Did I heal my Pokemon? I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, Chad. Modest Chad. I saw Wonder Trade yesterday. I've forgotten how to get to it. Okay, so it's a level level eleven Chad. figure out how to try oh why surprise trade surprise trade that you trade Pokemon in a truly surprising way select a Pokemon to trade and leave the rest up to us as you adventure we'll find an eligible trading partner and carry out the trade for you so let's take care of your only job choosing a Pokemon you're willing to trade modest Chad Would you like to save your game and start a surprise trade? Yes. Starting to search for another trainer. 
You can also cancel your quest by selecting another option from the menu. It specifically said it was going to let me continue adventuring. Oh, it is. I mean, how long can it take? It's a wonder trade, basically. Okay, so... I'm here. It's the mining site. It's blocked off. Hey buddy, I'll show you what I carry, leathers and victory. I thought he was a policeman, but he's a mailman. You were challenged by Postman Tad. Postman Tad, eh? And he's black and white. Sent out Deli Bird. I feel like I saw Deli Birds, but didn't capture one. Alright, right, I put the smack down on this deli bird. Deli bird used present. Not very effective. Right, I use smack down. Super effective. Deli bird fainted. Rider and Slick both leveled up. Rider wants to learn the move rock polish. Raises its speed. And if I have rapid spin, I don't need tackle. Slick wants to learn the move Tearful Look. The user gets teary eyed to make the target lose its combative spirit. It slows the target's attack and special attack stats. Oh, Water Gun. Easy. Slick forgot water gun and it learned tearful look. Turns out I was carrying your victory. $1,344 Poké Dollars for winning. Letters filled with thought and emotions. One must carry them gently. Someone else's camping site. 
if you want to heal up your Pokemon, there's nothing like setting up your camp and cooking them a good meal. Here, you can add this berry to the pot. You obtain a cherry berry. If you ever come across a tent, check it out to join the camp of whoever set it up. If you'd like, you're welcome to visit my camp too. It's this one right here. You found Becca's Pokemon camp. Would you like to pay them a visit? Yes. It's the Yamper and a... Was it a Stuffle? Wulu. And an Oddish. Ryder seems to be worried about its surroundings. Let's chat. Ryder is relaxed in this familiar place. Tell me more. Ryder looks like it wants to play a lot with you. Tell me more. Ryder seems curious about you. Later. Yampa's bringing it back. My Pokemon gun. Pokemon gain some experience points, mainly Ryder. Well, there's the mine. Every Pokemon's got a type or two, and every type has strong points and weak ones. You're challenged by schoolboy Peter. Peter sent out Sizzlipede. Rider use... Smackdown. Sizzlepede use rap.
Rider is smacked down. He was wrapped by Sizzlepade, but Sizzlepade's fainted, so it's all good. Rider grew to level 16. Schoolboy Peter is about to send out Dotla. You switch your Pokemon. Keep going. Peter sent out Dotlock. Ryder, you smack down. Dotlock, use confusion. Rider, you smack down. Super effective, Dotler fainted. Sid grew to level 17. Defeated Peter. I'm weak to people older than me. 840 poke dollars for winning. Try switching Pokemon when you've got a bad matchup in a battle. You found a super potion. A spray type medicine for treating wounds. It can be used to restore 60 hit points to a single Pokemon. Galar mine lies ahead. I don't know how to structure my videos. I don't know if this is, um, if it's just a tunnel or if it's a dungeon. There seem to be train tracks coming out of it. Hiya, me and my little sister have set ourselves up as a pop-up Pokemon Center service. Not that we asked anyone if we could or should. Galar Mine is pretty rough on a team, isn't it? I'll heal up your Pokemon for you, friend. Come talk to me anytime you think your team needs a bit of care. Okay, so I'm gonna have a look at my map. And if there's a route after Galar Mine, which I'm sure there is, then I'm going to take a break. Yep, Route 4. So I'm going to take a break for a while, by which I mean I'm going to end my stream to break up the videos that I will upload to YouTube. So, um, yeah, if you're watching this on my YouTube, then, well, first of all, if you're watching this on my Twitch stream, thank you very much. And second of all, if you're watching on my YouTube, remember to hit subscribe and to like, comment and share. Um, if you're watching on tri Twitch, feel free to follow me, um, and I hope to catch you in more of my videos. I'll probably be back online very shortly. I just noticed my stream's bugging out a little bit. I'll probably be back online shortly, like maybe an hour, as an approximate guess, to um, attempt Galar Mine in Route 4. What happens if I log out to my um, Wonder Trade search? If I come out here, go back in, it's still going, so I don't know why it would mess it up. Okay, well, peace out, interwebs. Thanks for watching.